Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon with Taylor's Fine Smoke Cooking. We are going to be back outside today. I've got some fresh cod on the inside that I just got from Costco. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse that off, season it up real good. And we're gonna come out and we're gonna get that Blackstone heated up and grill off some cod fillets today. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, here's our cod. Nice size fillets. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut these fillets up. I'm going to, so here, Cut it right here. And that's about a three or four ounce portion here. And then what I want to do, since it's kind of the fillet kind of splits like this, I'm going to cut it down the middle. Well, no, I'll have the back one here. Then we'll cut it down the middle here. So this is a little bit thinner fillet here. So this is probably just under three ounces, or right at three. And then we have another four ounce portion right here. So we'll do the exact same thing for this one. Which this one is actually a little bit thicker of a filet. Cut it up right here. Back piece. So these are all going to be about three to four ounce portions. And what we're going to season them up with, it's going to be simple seasonings today. We're going to use some uh, long uh, red lobster seasoning and we're going to use some adobo seasoning uh, with complete. This is some really, really good stuff. Recommend it if you can find it. I actually got this at Big Lots. So if you can find it, I recommend it. Um, Generally, I'm not a fan of regular adobo seasoning. It reminds me of ramen noodle powder, but I do like the uh, the adobo with complete. It's really good. So again, we're just gonna season it with our red lobster seasoning, and then we're gonna come back with the uh, adobo with complete. I don't know if you've ever eaten cod before. If you you if you've had a uh, what is it? I guess Culver's, their fish sandwiches are made with cod and a lot of other places. So it's a really flaky fish uh, and white fish. We don't eat it often, but it is pretty good. And it's gonna come back with our adobo with complete. Turn it over repeat the process all right guys we've got the fish all seasoned up I'm just gonna let it sit here on the countertop for just a few minutes for the seasoning to adhere and I'm gonna go out and get the blackstone heated up once it's all up to temp well I'll, I'll meet you guys back outside and we'll get cooking stick around all right y'all we're out here at this blackstone I've got it on a medium high and what I'm doing, I'm just putting a little bit of butter down. This is some unsalted butter, real butter. So again, I've got the one side on medium high, the other side is on low, all the way down. It's not gonna take long to cook this fish at all, so we're just gonna you know, start it off. It's gonna go about four minutes on one side and four on the next. A couple of the pieces are a little thinner than the other one, so we're gonna make sure that we get those off and put them on the cooler side uh, while the bigger ones finish up. But we're just gonna lay all the fish down, get a nice little blackening on it, a nice little crust, and go from there. Like I said before, this is a very, very flaky fish. So when you cook it, you can expect for it to flake up really good. Get them all down. There's no need to cover it or anything. Just gonna let the uh, griddle do the work. And like I said, we're going four minutes uh, to start. All right, my family, we've been running for about four minutes. Now it's time to flip them over. Repeat the process. Look how that looks. It's cooking perfectly. The thinner ones are flaking apart a little bit, but that's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. Just keeping them together the best way you can. 
All right, guys, about another three minutes in, I'm going to go ahead and take these thinner ones and I'm going to move them to the cooler side of the griddle. Don't want to overcook them. Look at that. You can see that piece just fell right apart. But cod, like I said, is super flaky. And I'm sure you've eaten it before. Uh, if you've gone to Culver's and restaurants like that that sell fish sandwiches, that's the type of uh, fish that they sell. So these last four just a little bit thicker. So we're just going to go with a few more minutes. Let them do their thing. Look at that nice golden brown color on them. Season just right. ready to pull. See you on the right, inside. Guys, we're done. 10 minutes on the uh, Blackstone and you're all set. Get a good look at that fish. And again, like I said, it's super flaky. Cod is a very, very flaky fish. Mild flavor fish. And just look at how that flakes apart. But on the flip side, look how moist it is as well. You can see real well. so good season just right you remember the adobo with the complete is not very salty because complete is not very salty and the uh, seafood seasoning um, long, the red lobster is not very salty so when you add them up together it's really good really really good if you're watching so you can cut back a little bit if you like but I recommend it it, it has a little bit of a kick it's, it's perfect guys so I, I recommend you guys give it a try if you've never done cod this way I recommend you to give that a try as well, or if you just want to do any type of white fish, it's a perfect way to cook it. Um, season it, has some yellow rice or you know salad with it, and you're good to go. But this right here is a winner, it's a home run, and I uh, recommend that you give it a try. I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Brandon with Taylor's Fries Cooking. Till the next time, guys. God bless you.